This candle smells so wonderful. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Gregor Speaks. I am talking with Rob Laubach today in the Ravenswood neighborhood of Chicago, Illinois. And the reason why I have this candle is he's a candle maker. He's also a massage therapist. So we're going to talk a little bit about his candle making business and also massage therapy and whatever else we get into on this week's Gregor Speaks. Everybody, we're back and we're in Rob's apartment and he is busy pouring some candles and everything needs to be done a certain way. Am I right about that? That is correct, right? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Yep. So this is Rob and we're going to be talking about his candle business, which is what, Rob? It's uh, called Blue Meadow Candles. Blue Meadow Candles. And you're also a massage therapist. I am. I've been massaging for about 19 years now. So that makes him about 30 years old. Just to let you know. We'll so, go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that right now. Um, so, Rob, tell me. So, you're a massage therapist, and do you do this out of your home? Uh, are, are you at a business? What? Sure. So, I do uh, have private clients that I see in my home. It's a home studio where I have a table. Uh, it's just it's set apart from the rest of my apartment. Uh, so, I see private clients there. I also work at a chiropractic clinic in the Lakeview area. Um, so between those two, it keeps me busy on the massage world. Very good. And, because I know this personally, you have been a teacher at a massage school yep. before, which is great. And, and I know when we've been out and about and we've run into some of the students, they're always like sending high accolades and stuff, which as a friend, uh, you always want to see your friends succeed. So I think that's really awesome. So, so tell me about your candles and we're going to do a shot here in a minute but I just want to do a little intro with Rob but tell me about your candles I know I'm in the food season business so we're able to talk about that and I have some of your candles at home and, and I have some of your season right right there. right so it works out really good but tell me um, why why are you doing this what's what's the draw for the candles and also the second part of this is the name where did Blue Meadow sure. Candles come from? Well, why don't we, I'll do it in reverse. I'll start with the name. Okay. So Blue Meadow Candles, uh, my parents who are elderly and live in Texas, uh, owned a piece, of, a piece of property for a, a number of years. And it was in a very, very small town called Blue, Texas. And they always talked about- I didn't even know that. They always talked about going to the meadow and visiting the meadow at Blue, Texas. And it was, a, it was an oasis, especially for my father. And he did a lot of work out there. He's good with his hands. He built a little cabin. And it was just time for him to get away. Um, you know, after his retirement and his old age, it was something for him to do. And he loved it. And so the name just came from Blue Meadow Candles. It was a, uh, it was a labor of love, basically, for my parents, but especially my father, because this little piece of heaven in Texas was so important to me. And that's my roots. I'm from Texas, and so Blue Meadow Candles kind of sprouted from that. Great. I love the name. That's fantastic. So how long have you been doing your candle biz? Well, candle biz has been about, I'd say, six years. Um, but I can remember growing up making candles like when I was 10, 11, 12. And at that point, all the, all the craze was ice candles and sand candles. Oh, I remember those. Yeah, there, yeah. It, it the was, ice candle, I know. What was the ice so candle? So the ice candle, you would take a form of some kind, uh, round, square, whatever, fill it with cubes of ice I've never heard and a wick, that. and immediately pour the wax in. And so the candle, once it came out, the best way to describe it is it looks like cottage cheese. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not cottage cheese, Swiss cheese. All right. It would look like Swiss cheese. Right. It had all these I little holes in it. And so then it, when it melted, it would melt down and then some light would come through the holes okay. of the, of right. the uh, right. parts. And then sand candles, you uh, would just have a big thing of sand and you take a form and push it down in the sand, create the form in the sand. I remember doing that like summer camp. Because I, like, I used to teach arts and crafts, and we did it. It was that. a summer candy thing. Yeah, yeah okay. Absolutely. I get and it. So I get it, it. It would be a sand candle or an ice candle. Okay. So I, I, I dabbled with it then, you know, 
fast forward a few years and I just decided that I wanted to have an artistic kind of crafty outlet and I, I looked back and I thought hmm, candles that's just the best way to do it. Nice. So six years with the biz. And you've done very well with this. I, I mean, and, it, and, it, and I may add, it, it works good for you because you're at a chiropractic clinic which sells your candles. Yeah, too. the chiropractor has been really great. He's been selling my candles, uh, candles for me as That's well. That's wonderful. So I love cool. that. Yeah. And, and, I, and I like, you there, there's going to be a shot you're going to see on the video of a little cart. And it reminds me of the cart that Jessica Rabbit in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Um, but he bought this little cart just, what, a few weeks ago? A few weeks ago, yeah. And it's great because it has all of your different oils and stuff. And I, I, I know you're, you got uh, wax brewing here. So my last thing I want to ask you before we all get into this sure. is um, your, your scents. Like, how do you know what to pick out? What What is it a season? Is it what... You go by the something you like, yeah. the people talk about, well, tell me about that. So this is what one of the bottles of the, see, of the scents looks like. The oil comes in like this. And one of the most, uh, I guess, really popular ones of late over the last few months has been a series of candles called Into the Woods. Nice. And so all of the nice. scents are woodsy. Uh, they smell like leaves or something you know, out of nature. And so the way that I pick it is another popular time of year is fall and the holidays. So fall will be the pumpkins and um, something which, like which that. Which is a big pumpkin which spice I, yeah, fan. Pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin, and then in the fall, or in, I'm sorry, in the holidays, Christmas will be like Fraser fir. It will be Christmas hearth. It will be something of the holiday season. So it kind of comes with a season, but then I try to... Um, pick something that means something meaningful to me, and I like the woods. So Into the Woods, uh, not the show, which I would like to see, but Into the Woods was just something that was kind of important to me. We like the musicals, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great. I mean, you have a lot of the different fragrances, and, and he'll, which I really think is awesome, I'll come over here and he'll go, he goes, I want you to smell this, and I'm like, hmm. And he, he did. He, he, he does some scrubs too, and he just uh, showed me this coffee one that was amazing, um, right here. Yeah, it's a brand new it's one. It's really coffee really, and brown sugar. Let me see this for a minute. So this is awesome. But you know, come up with this stuff. You did a, a sugar. What was the one I really liked? You did. Was that you one? liked? Um, it was like an orange. I knew it was orange, orange. grapefruit something. Yeah. Scrub, the sugar scrub. It was yeah. amazing. And I never left the shower. I mean, people are like, are you home? No, I'm in the shower using the scrub. So, um, but yeah, he does this in, in, in like me, I do this all out of my home. He does this out of his home and he has, he moved into a larger apartment uh, about what, eight months ago? Uh, six. Six yeah. months ago. And he's got a larger kitchen than I do. So people are often amazed about, um, you know, like for him doing all these candles, where's the space? And for me, I'm adding two more things in the matter of a couple of weeks, two more seasonings. So it, it's just a juggle thing that, that we do. And uh, it, it's just nice to share. So we'll talk more, but uh, we're going to go to the next shot. Uh, I, and I'm standing right here in front of a pot with some wonderful wax. And have you added the oil yet? I haven't yet. No, we've got to get the oil too. And, and I know he wants to do that. So we'll do that. We'll talk a little bit more. to about 185 degrees. That's your kind of optimum point of when you add your uh, fragrance oil. And today I'm doing a cypress and bayberry. It's again part of that Into the Woods series. So I'm gonna mix it here. Usually uh, you wanna mix it for about a minute and a half to about two minutes until you can kind of see that all of the oil, the fragrance oil, has been incorporated into the wax. Uh, the wax I use is a soy wax, so it clean, it burns really nice and clean. And I'm just gonna you know, kind of stir this for a little bit until I see that. And um, it's just really a nice, um, again, it's cypress and bayberry. There's some green leaf in it. Um, it's just very nice. Rob 
pour all of his candles and we're gonna see what the finished product looks like right now. So Rob, come on over here. So this is what, um, this is an eight ounce ball jar candle. So that's what I poured. Um, and then we also have, again, Blue Meadow. So we have okay. these sapphire candles, or sapphire uh, jars, pops off. Nice thing there. And then something that I have started doing are reef diffusers. So, so is I, that something down the road that you want to do or you're starting to do now? I'm starting to do reed diffusers. So it, this could be a nice thing for like your powder room, something like that. It just keeps, you know, it just sends off a nice scent for a very, very, very long time. And like your logo, let's, let's move this up just a little bit. Yep. Your logo would go like My logo here. would go here. Okay. Yep. Absolutely. Very nice. So Rob, tell me if people want to get a hold of you. Yep. For your candle business, where do they go to? Uh, my website is Blue Meadow Candles, plural, bluemeadowcandles.com. Um, you can look at all the products that are on there. Uh, I just relaunched the site. And then if you want to place an order, there's a, a thing that you scroll to the bottom and just kind of place an order about what you would like, and then I'll get in touch with you. About it. So let me ask you, because um, I know my business, what I do, and everything like is as far as payment goes, mm -hmm. what is your preferred payment policy kind of thing? Um, probably Venmo is, I would imagine, the best way to go. Uh, Zelle is great too. Those are probably the two things. Yeah, those are my two favorites yep. too. All right, and talking about massage, I want sure. to ask you a quick question. Okay. What was the interest of you getting into massage therapy? Because I know you've had some uh, theater background, right? And you say- A long time ago. Yeah, a yeah. long, long time ago. And when, far, far away. When he was 20 yeah. years old. Uh, but no, but and I'm only 30 now, so there. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, so, what was the interest in getting into massage therapy? What's the What was the draw for that? Sure. So, um, I, again, I'm from Texas, and many years ago, I took a trip to New Mexico. It was just a vacation, I needed some time away. And I went to a spa, and this is what I told you, alluded to the fact that I, that I taught massage therapy. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, I would always teach this on the very first day. Uh, students were always like, why did you become a massage therapist? And so I went to New Mexico and there's a very famous spa, it's called 10,000 Waves. And I got a special- I don't even know this. I got a very <laughs> special massage called Watsu, W-A-T-S-U. It's an underwater massage. It, and it was, the mountains were in the back. It was outside, oh, wow. trees and everything. And I had, nice. an, I had an emotional breakdown. It was time for me. My body needed to release a lot of stuff, which it did. Um, and just the fact that it was a warm pool and water and water was rushing around my head and stuff like wow. that. And on the drive back to Texas after New Mexico, you know, I'm, I'm driving and I'm thinking, this would be a really cool thing. Maybe it's not underwater massage because we're going to find a pool all, all over everywhere. Right. But I just thought, I want to give back what that young lady gave to me, what you she know, facilitated in me. In the years that I've known you, I have never asked you that question. Really? I didn't. I didn't. Ne know I that. didn't know that. So it's a first here on Gregor Speaks. Well, that's pretty amazing. It, it, it took a long wow. time. It's you know one of those things where you're like, I want to do this, but then it takes ten years to do it. Well, that was kind of what happened. But you know, I've been massaging for 19 years now. So, and he's only 24. So go figure. Wow, I went from 30 to 24. I'll yeah. take it. Yeah, and usually when I joke around with them, it's something else. So, <laughs> so am I right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, we talk about Blue Metal Candles, which that link's going to be at the end of the video. Yep. But if people are interested in getting a massage from you, where do they go? How do they get hold of you? Sure, sure. So, I, I have a website for that as well, and it is Breathe Therapeutic body work. It's kind of a long kind of domain name, but it's breathe therapeutic body work. Dot com. Com. Okay. Good. So all of those links will be at the bottom of the video. Rob, I appreciate everything that uh, you've done today and people can look into getting some really great candles. I have them at home. Uh, I know people have enjoyed them and you know, it's, it's being a true artisan. It's being uh, just kind of doing something you love and enjoy and you're not making a million dollars off of it. Although we wish we were, kind of. Um, yeah, kind of. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just a fun thing. It's a, kind of a labor of love because we know that it's an 
a really great thing. So check out the links below. Thank you for joining me this week and uh, watching everything. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up, which would be really great. Just like that. Uh, comment at the bottom because I like to hear what you uh, have to say. And who knows what's going to happen next week on the next edition of Gregor Speaks. So I'll see you next week. Have a great week All ahead. Right. Nice be meeting a, you guys. Be the voice of change in your life. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks, Ralph. Thank you.